Well, it's an exciting moment, a bit of a milestone, a landmark. Uh, today, uh, the progress is going quite well of uh, going around with the, the paintwork, getting the rust off. But today, we are going to strip the interior. So, uh, in about a week's time, we're going off to uh, a Volkswagen mechanic to get some mechanics done. And I want to strip the interior before we take it out there. So, uh, it's coming out today. All the cupboards, the bed, everything, it's all going to come out. I'm going to take the roof lining off, the ceiling lining off. Uh, so by hopefully by the end of today all of this will just be bare metal, well painted bare metal, probably quite rusty but uh, here we go and just to show that this is genuinely an in-use combi we've uh, got stuff at the cupboards, we've got you know pans in here, the cups, we've got cutlery drawer full of bits and pieces, so this is our genuine in use combi and we're just about to strip the whole thing here's an old extension cord and stuff it's all coming out today maybe tomorrow as well very exciting well now that we're clearing the inside uh, the first thing I want to do is get the rock and roll bed out now the rock and roll bed is a beautiful piece of work and uh, it's got like a wooden frame here that it's all attached to. The whole wooden frame is then bolted with a bracket into the floor of the combi. So the easiest way to take the rock and roll bed out is just to take the bolts out from in the bottom. So I've got three of them out. There's four bolts. These are the bolts here and they just go bolting down into there. One, two, three, four. I've got three of the bolts out. But one of them is, of course, stuck. So it's only a bolt. I'm going to cut it out. Well, could have saved myself half an hour of uh, struggling with that bolt. That was much quicker. So we've got the roller rock and roll bed out. So I think the next thing is to get this side cupboard out. I think it's going to come out as one whole unit. It's loose at that end, and I'm just loosening it at this end as well. Um, but yeah, the next thing is to take this one out and then take out the tall cupboard, and then we're pretty much stripped. A few other bits and pieces, but yeah, no, we're going well. So we're just removing the long cupboard. It's almost ready to come out. But, uh, there's a whole series of screws from this tall cupboard into the long cupboard but I think after I've got these screws out I think that's going to come out as one unit which will be helpful because I'm going to remake this and uh, maybe slightly different but uh, I'd like to get it out as one piece if I can. It's now going to pull out as one piece which is what I wanted so uh, I'll just give it a tug I'm hoping it comes out. There we are. That's it. This is just for my seatbelt holder. That needs to come out. Okay. Good old VW Trust Transport Haynes manual. So we've got the other cupboards out, we've got the uh, rock and roll seat, we've got the long cupboard, just this tall one left and it's not actually secured to anything. So uh, that's going to lift straight out. Beautiful!
Excellent. Come and have a look in here now. Well, that's it. We've got about 20 years worth of the girls' memorabilia that slipped down the cracks in the cupboards and things that's sitting here. And uh, we've stripped the interior. How about that? Well, that's it. The interior is all cleaned out. We've, uh, we can see all the metal here. It's going to need cleaning up. Not too much rust though, so most of it actually seems pretty good. I've got some rust over here. I need to be cleaning up over here. This is going to be a problem area. Uh, otherwise, it looks pretty good. I've got the um, holes here for the fridge and the gas, and um, that's normal. I've got the big um, gas compartment hole over here. Otherwise everything seems in pretty good nick. I'm pretty happy. It's going to take a bit of cleaning, but that's good. Done.